within puberty, there's like two major, two major categories, if you, if you wish. And one is called sheng, or raw, and the other one is called shou, or ripe. And this is because the processes are different. The sheng, or the raw, is the way that puer has been made for a long time. And the shou is a way that they invented in the 1970s to accelerate the fermentation process so that they could produce more ready-to-drink tea. I like sheng pu'er because I feel that the energy of the tea and the energy of the forest is still there when it's a sheng, when it comes directly from there. So this is a sheng pu'er. It's a kind of pu'er tea that is aging and fermenting as time passes. So it's, it's aging by itself because there's a process of fermentation that still goes on in the tea, so it's sort of living. So it has microorganisms that come all the way back from the forest. This, by the way, is called a gai wan. And I think it was invented in China, but I may be mistaken. Everywhere you go in China to try teas, they make it in this. So I don't know where it came from, but it's widely used nowadays. So this first one is just a rinse. Like wake up tea, wake up tea. And how long does it have to be steep? Not long, unless you want it really bitter, which I've seen the locals in Yunnan drink it like really bitter. But most people prefer it smoother. And if you want not to burn, you can slurp. 